Right guys, Mark Crossfield here in my hands today, Cobra King uh, Forge CBMB combo set. Let's show you what these King Clubs have to offer. Let's get stuck in. So we've got the King Forged MBCB. So we're getting CB cavity back design, uh, three iron down to six, and then seven iron through the pitching wedge, it goes MB, muscle back. So it goes more into a classic blade. Now I have read, I think they're telling me that you can get the MBs, all MBs, if you wanted to go custom that order. It's not, it's not a stock option, I think it's a custom option. Don't quote me if that's available in every country. Uh, maybe contact Cobra for that one. Um, but it's a combo set. They're delivering combo set, which is quite a clever idea. So you're getting the cavity back in a forged head. It's a five mil process. I, I mean, they're, they're just, you know, they're forged at the best, highest quality for feel and precision is what all the companies say, which is quite interesting. You get a toe weight out on each club as well, which is aligning the center of gravity more in the middle of the club because bladed irons, because there's so much weight, obviously, in this necky part, it can move the CG towards the heel, but they are counteracting that with a toe tungsten weight also. Um, they're great looking, kind of diamondized black metal finish, quite different for a classic kind of player's irons to go so kind of aggressive with the colorway. Um, we're gonna give them a hit, see what they feel like. So I'm gonna start with the eight iron, actually. The eight iron being the bladed option, so it's got the bladed, uh, it's the um, MB, this one, looks fantastic. It's a very small little head shape down by the ball. It's probably one of the smallest blades I think I've ever seen. So it's got a thin top line, very thin sole, a little bit of muscling at the back, but no cavity as such. But just the size of the head is really small down by the ball, which I do really like the look of. I just think it'll be a bit scary for some. Let's give it a hit. It feels nice off the face. That feels exactly like a blade should. I'm really liking the black finish on these. I'm liking the diamond eyes, black gun, black metal, whatever they're calling it, finish. Basically the darker finish. I think it looks quite cool. Cobra obviously all about the cool. And to be honest with you, that feels nice as well. It feels as good as anything I've hit out there. It makes a nice soft sound, which will make you feel like it's softer. So if we go up here then to the six iron, you get the juxtaposition now into the CB, the cavity back. Um, but it's not a massive juxtaposition, which I like in the looks. So from the player's perspective, you wouldn't really know you're moving from a, you know, a, a bladed true to a cavity back dying because it's still a very small little blade down by the ball. Let's give it a hit, see what it feels like. You're just starting to get a little bit more help. Yeah, it feels nice. Again, similar sound as you'd expect. So it's a real true kind of blend from blade to cavity, which I like. A little toe weight out towards, um, or the toe weight they've put, the tungsten weight out on the toe to move the center of gravity to the middle. I don't think many other manufacturers are really struggling with where their CG is, but that's obviously something that Cobra are doing just to make you aware of why it's there. God, it does feel very nice. I could really see a good play. I mean, they're aiming this at the better players. It's a very frighteningly small head size, but that does look really, really nice. And I'm liking the combination of cavity back down to the muscle back in the design. Now, I've hit some shots with these on GC2 HMT using my Titleist, uh, Titleist Pro V1X golf balls as well. Um, let's show you what the data was like when I was hitting the King Ford CBMB. Liking the look of those. Right, here are the numbers then. So the six iron going 168. So that's kind of my seven iron distance with clubs that offer different lofts. I don't use this style of golf club, but much more truer to where that kind of uncranked lofted club would go almost. Um, spinning at 5.9, which I like with a six iron, it's 6,000 revs, so you're getting the right amount of spin. Launching, averaging around 16 degrees. I then hit the eight iron as well to see how the blend between that cavity back, so the CB iron went into the MB, and the stepping in distances make sense. Uh, averaging 144, 168 with my six iron. So that's kind of the gapping I would want. Um, launching at 21 degrees, topping 
high at 31, spinning at 7.9, again near 8,000 revs for the eight iron. Um, they're spinning exactly how you'd want them to be. They're, they're good players' irons, to be honest. I mean, you could be a high handicapper and a great ball striker and still want those, but they are very small little head sizes, which I think will just scare your kind of mid handicapper and higher. But the better players, Certainly in that black finish, I'm really loving the black finish on those. If I was a more powerful golfer, I could definitely put them in my bag. For my club head speeds, I'm going to go for something maybe with a little bit more of a friendlier, kind of chunkier head, help me with launches, just to max my distance out with all the clubs. But I'm liking the combination of MB to CB, muscle back to cavity back, and I think the blend is quite seamless. It's certainly seamless in looks and very seamless in the numbers there. Let me know what you think, guys. Post comments down below. Are these a the kind of club you would try or not? Do you like the colour of them or not? Remember to thumbs up the video if you're liking the reviews, and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.